Hey everyone, in today's RDM quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to configure and launch remote sessions through a VPN or a Devolutions gateway. Let's jump right in. To harness the true power of RDM, we suggest that you create a VPN entry so that you can link to it from various sessions like this one. But if I create it here, it'll end up in this vault, which might be perfectly fine. But if you wanna share it amongst your whole team, we suggest that you put it into the system vault. That way everybody has access to it. If I click on new entry here and I go to VPN tunnel gateways, you'll see all of the VPNs that are available. If yours isn't listed here, click on the add-on manager and see if it's available there. I've already created my VPN earlier, so if I go into the properties, you'll see that I already have the path where the VPN resides. But if you have different VPNs, like an Azure Bastion, for example, you'll have to set specific properties for that VPN type. But overall, they all do the same thing. Now, one commonality is how does RDM pass a username and a password to that VPN? So there's several different options it offers. You can hard code the username and password directly into this VPN so that anybody that uses VPN would use that username and password. You can also select to inherit it, meaning that you would provide the username and password in the folder above. You can also select the My Personal Credentials or My Privilege Account or you can select find my name, which will search in the user vault for a specific named entry. If there's nothing in there, it'll pop up a prompt and the user can choose which credential they wanna use. Then below we have the wait interval. This is simply the time that RDM waits in standby while the connection is being established with the VPN. You might have a 2FA that you have to do a number matching and you want RDM to wait before it establishes the connection to the VPN itself. Back in my vault, I can select the RDP session I want to launch through the VPN. I can go to properties. Under the VPN tunnel gateway section, this is where I can set which VPN I want to use and how it is configured. Here I'm presented with various options on how the VPN is to act. For example, when I double click the session, it will always connect to the VPN no matter what. I can also have it connect manually, meaning that I'll have an option to manually open the VPN and close the VPN, but I'd have to do this prior to running the session or else it won't connect. Then we can have RDM determine if the endpoint is reachable or not. If it cannot be reached as is, then it will go ahead and open the VPN. The inherited option is especially useful if you have multiple sessions that are in a folder, then you can set all of these properties like we're doing right now in the actual folder above under VPN tunnel gateway there. And then if you put inherited, all of the sessions below it will inherit the VPN properties from its parent folder. The next option will force a prompt box to appear every time you want to connect to the session, it will ask you, would you like to open the VPN or not? And then below we have a few more options for specific use cases. For me, I'm gonna select always connect. Now below that, under the type, this is where I can either manually set up which VPN I want, or I can link it to the VPN that we already created earlier. We're gonna go ahead and link it. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and I have an option to either link to a session, technically the VPN is a session, so I could link to that, or I could go directly for a VPN, that way it'll only search for VPNs in my system. If I go to the settings tab, I can specify which VPN I'm using, which is this Windjammer VPN that we set up earlier. Now I'm gonna go back to the VPN tab and I'm going to specify what I want the VPN to do when I close the session. I can either have the VPN close when the session closes, I can have it manually close later, meaning it'll remain open until I manually close it. And then lastly, I can have RDM prompt me to see if I'd like to close the VPN when I end the session. This is the option I will choose. Let's update that. And now you'll see that some VPN properties have appeared. Then my prompt for my credentials will pop up. I'll select that Maurice account. Then RDM will establish a connection with the VPN. And after a successful connection, it'll launch the session, running it through the VPN. Now that our tasks are finished, let's go ahead and close that. I'll get the prompt asking me if I'd like to leave the VPN open or close it. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Now let's shift our focus on launching it through the Devolutions gateway. So if I go back to the properties, 
and head back to the VPN tunnel gateway section. Now what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. The type here will not be a VPN, but it'll be a Devolutions Gateway, which has already been installed and is currently residing on my server. Now in the settings, I can select which gateway I want to run. I'm going to use my Windows Gateway. We'll click Update to refresh the entry, and now you'll see that the VPN properties are gone because the gateway is technically not a VPN. Then we'll launch this session via the gateway, providing that just-in-time segmented access. You don't even notice that it's there. In fact, all you notice is the little gateway icon above there showing that the traffic is passed through the gateway. Now, to verify what's going on here, we can actually go to the Devolutions Gateway options above in Remote Desktop Manager. You can see I have multiple gateways running, a Linux and a Windows gateway. And on the right hand side, you'll see under the Windows gateway, there is a session being launched, the one that I did with Maurice Moss and the destination that he is accessing right now. So there you have it, launching a remote session via a VPN or the Devolutions gateway. If you enjoyed that quick tip, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. See you next time.